Welcome to Wisco. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to do time attendance by using IBM S4200. Okay, this is the device I'm going to use for the example. It is a radio series face access terminal. You can see in SATP tools, this is the device I'm going to use. First, we go to the device management to add the device into it. So we add, provide a name, IP address, device username and device password. So now you can see the device is online. That means you are successfully added the device. So now we're going to add the person into the device. So open up the person tab. So we add, provide a name. And the face cut or fingerprint can be added within this page. Next, we're going to give the authorization to the person in order to allow him to use the terminal. So we go to the access control. Under the access control group, we add provide a name who are going to use the terminal and which terminal he going to use. So we save. So now you can see the status to be applied. So we, we need to push the data to the device. So we tick apply all to device. Okay. Now you can see the status of apply. So are you here? The access control terminal is fully set up. So now we're going to our main topic for today, doing the time attendance. First, open up the time attendance tab, timetable. So now you can see under the timetable tab, the type, they have two types. One is general, one is flexible. If you want more detail, you can set for general. But now, I just flexible for example. You can calculate by first in, last out, or each check in, check out. This is the working hours. Okay, save. Next, we're going to set out the shift. For example, we're working for five days a week. So I assign the timetable Monday to Friday. So we save. After we save the shift, so we need to assign the shift to the person. So we click assign, select the person, expire that. Save. So under the shift schedule, we can see we, are, we already assigned the shift to the person. Last, we're going to get the attendance record from the device. So under this page, we need to get the raw data from the device. Giving the start time, 
the department so we get the event from the device from which device search next we need to do in calculation for the raw data also same giving the starting time department then we calculate and finally we are going to generate the report here is all the report you can generate for now I picking Monday for example select the person giving a date so we press report so now you can see the report they are generated you can directly print out the report or save the report to another format okay that's all for me that I want to share to you guys I hope you guys can learn from the video and share it to your friends so they can also learn from this video if you guys like our video please like and subscribe our youtube channel i will see you guys in our next video thank you bye bye